Hi there, my name is Vic V. I'm an ENT consultant surgeon working for the NHS. In this video, I want to talk to you about airing or micro CPAP. The reason why I want to talk about it is because one of my patients recently asked me about this and asked me if I could get him one. Now, just in case you don't know what this is, this was a device which was invented in 2014. And the people putting this device together asked for some money on the Indiegogo site where you can fund new technologies or startup technologies. This all happened in 2014, 2015. And people have put in quite a lot of money so far, about £1.4 million uh, in American dollars. That's $1.9 million, almost $2 million into this project. The idea is that you put it up your nose and then you turn on the machine and the air just pumps air into your nose. And it's meant to work like a CPAP machine. So what I'm going to do is test this device out, which is meant to be almost the same as the airing device, which uses lots of little fans to blow air into your nose. So what I'm going to do is show you how much air pressure this thing can generate and compare it to the pressures you can generate from a CPAP machine. CPAP generates about 15 centimeters of water pressure on average. So with a bit of bad science, I found my son's water bottle lid, which weighs about 14 grams. So I tried that first. Now I appreciate that this is nothing like 15 centimeters of water pressure, but as you can see, turning on the device and placing the lid on top of it, nothing much is happening. So let's stop that. So this time I'm going to try something a little lighter. I folded up a piece of paper, which seems to be about four grams. So I try that on the micro CPAP and after a bit of balancing, I can't really see any effect on the paper at all. Let's stop that as well then. So in desperation, I've tried a single piece of toilet paper, which as you can see, weighs absolutely nothing according to my weighing scales. But again, the micro CPAP did nothing, which kind of surprised me. So I chose the lightest thing I could think of. I found this feather in the garden. Okay, it took a little bit of balancing, but let's see what the micro CPAP did with the feather. So I appreciate this isn't the actual airing device because no airing device has actually been produced over the last seven years. As far as I can see on the website, there's been no new updates and everything's gone silent. I'm not entirely sure where that $2 million has gone. I really don't think a small machine like this can ever generate the amount of air pressure you need for it to work as a CPAP device. So in my opinion, please do not put any more money into this or think that this is going to work in any way. I guess the problem is there are a lot of people out there who are desperate to solve their sleep apnea problem. And there are quite a few unscrupulous people out there who would like to capitalize and prey on these sorts of people. Please go and see a proper sleep center with a department full of different specialties that work together in a multidisciplinary way. I believe that's the only way you're going to get better when it comes to sleep apnea. I can't turn around to you and say, I can fix your sleep apnea because I can't. I need all sorts of people to help me, like respiratory physicians, neurologists, maxillofacial surgeons, dentists, all sorts of people. One person can't fix sleep apnea by themselves. I hope you found this video informative. Please look on my channel. There are lots of videos out there which will point you in the right direction on how to sort out your sleep apnea and snoring problems. Thank you very much for watching.